Hi everybody, in this video I want to show you how you can get around the split clip limit in Share Factory on the PlayStation 4. As you can see here with this uh, this project I'm working on, it's not that long, it's about four and a half minutes long, but there's loads and loads of edits in it, loads and loads of splits. Um, and then what happens is, when I want to go and um, add another split, like this, um, it says the project clip limit has been reached. This clip cannot be split. So I'm kind of stuck really because I need to. I want to add some more clips to it and I want to edit them in. So the way that you get around this is obviously first save your. Pro Oops. First, make sure you save your project. You know, so it's so it's uh, all safe. And then what? Then what you want to do is you want to export it. Um, so when you're back at the the normal kind of menu, press triangle on your PlayStation, and then you render it out as a movie. Obviously, I'm just going to cancel this. Make sure that you're happy with all the edits you've done so far, because once you've rendered it out, you know anything that you've done, you're committed to. Now, when it finishes rendering and it says share, just say share later, and then come out of the project. And then what you want to do is you want to start a new project, and then with whichever theme you want you want to use, say so the share factory one. And then what you should find is the last one you've saved, probably called Share Factory. There it is on my one. Um, select that. Start your new project with that. And then what it's done, it's created your project and committed it to one long file. You know, in effect, it's a new movie. So what you can then do is you can then go back to the end where you wanted to do those extra edits. And you're basically starting again with one long clip. Um, so if I go split clip, I can I could then split that split it there if I wanted to. Now you are degrading the quality of the video and the audio a little bit because you've rendered it out, you've compressed it, and then you're opening it up again. Um, but for watching on YouTube and watching on mobile phones, it's fine, um, and it enables you to get around that split clip limit. Okay, anyway, that's enough for me. If you've got any questions or comments, please put them in the box down below, and I will see you again soon.